Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous videos, yes, we have written the logic firstly in the function module and then in the usual ABAP class method and we call the usual ABAP class method and function module inside the program. It is totally your wish in the projects, whatever is suggestible. Based upon that, you can use that particular modularization technique to write the logic. And modularization technique, yes, always every project prefer. We should not write the logic in the continuous manner. We should write or we should always, always use modularization technique, which helps us to divide our code into small, small parts. Now, our data from the three tables is coming into this internal table, is returning into this internal table. If I will go for class method or if I will go for function module, my data is in this particular internal table. Now, as of now, we displayed the output using write statement. But based upon our case study, we need to display the output using ALV. So now we will work on the ALB part. We all know ALB creation is two-step process. If you want full explanation on ALB, it, we have a separate playlist for the ALB. ALB creation, two-step process. We need to create a field catalog now, what is second step? We need to bind the data with the field catalog. Our data of six column is in this internal table. Now, we will create a field catalog of how many column? Six column. And we will bind these two things. So, what we will do? Our data part is ready. Our data from the three tables is in this internal table, LT underscore final. Now, we will create a field catalog also of how many columns, six columns. Then we will bind our data with the field catalog. And if you see the functional specification, it is clearly mentioned we will use manual method to create the field catalog. We will not use SAP function module. Manually, we will write the logic to create the field catalog. Now, we will start with that particular part. We will create the field catalog. Now, I will declare the internal table for the field catalog. So I will write data LT underscore field cat type. I will write slis underscore T underscore field cat underscore ALB. Now maximum people ask how, how we will remember this particular table type. Do not, in that case, what you can do? You can simply, simply go to SC37 transaction code. We all know this is SAP function module reuse underscore ALV underscore field catalog underscore merge, which is helping us to generate the field catalog. But we will not use this function module because we will manually generate the field catalog will write the logic by our own. First, but to check this particular table type name, just do one thing. In SC37, pass this function module. Go to the changing and you can see the CT field cat is of this type. Copy this and declare in your program. And yes, 
it is a table type table type it is a table type which is referring to this structure type it is a table type that's why i only use the word type i have not written type table of so our internal table type table type now i will declare the work area so what will be the name of work area i will write lwa underscore field cat type now work area is always always a structure type so if i will double click this table type is referring to this structure type so i will copy this structure type and declare in our program so i declared field catalog internal table i declare field catalog work area now we will manually write the code to fill this field catalog internal table we all know whenever you want to fill the internal table or whenever you want to insert the records to internal table we always always use append statement append work area to internal table so now we will manually fill the field catalog internal table for this data part it is totally your wish you want to comment this or you want to comment this part okay so suppose i will go for as of now class method is this write statement is not required because now we will go for alb part now what is your work area lwa field cat hyphen now we will manually generate the field catalog so we will go for each and everything one by one for the best understanding i will just open this program in another session so that it will be easy for us to navigate and write the logic see this is our table type table type is referring to this structure type uh, this structure type has again nested structures so i'll firstly go for this i will go for this again nested structure now i will use the various columns various properties so what is the first thing column underscore position why i opened in another session so that here i can separately write the logic it will make our task easy so what is the column position for first column one now i put a dot at the last because statement has been ended lwa field cat hyphen now i need to give the name of the column if i want to give the name of the column which particular thing i will use field name and it is fully fully explained in the abap programming playlist now what is the field name what is the field name for first column because field catalog also also has six column so i will check in the structure itself but the first column name v b e l n i will pass v b e l n now i will simply simply go for now third thing. so we gave the column position we gave the name of the column now we need to give the label we need to give the column label so how how we can give the column label so we need to use which particular property if i will scroll down you can see are you able to see this cell text l cell text m cell text s but s s means short m means medium 
L means long. If you remember, yes, with the help of data element, we are getting the field label. If I will go to any data element and show you, suppose if I will go to this data element, you can see we always has short, medium, long. Same thing is here because now we are not going for data elements. We are manually writing the code. We are not telling SAP to generate the field catalog. We are writing the code to generate the field catalog. So we will go for this. Suppose I will go for long text. So I will use this. Now I will go for first particular label. Now it is clearly, clearly mentioned. We will never, never hard code the label in one language. We will always, always use the text symbols. So I will write text hyphen zero zero one. Now I moved everything to the work area. Now from work area, we will simply, simply append it to internal table. Yes, to write this logic, you must have the knowledge of ALB. So we appended the first record from work area to internal table. Now, can I create this text symbol? I will double click. Now, but 000, suppose name of the first label is sales document number. I will activate. I will just increase the length. Suppose this will be 20. Sales document number. I'll just increase by one more. Sales document number. Yes, it's done. Now we will go for second column. Never, never forget to clear the work area after every append statement. So I will clear this work area. Now I will go for second column. So I will copy this. I will generate the field catalog for second column. So I will go for second. What is our second field name? VBELN. Then we have postnar. And this is text hyphen 002. I will create this particular text symbol also. Firstly, I will copy paste. Now we have the column position third. So we have Posna, then we have Matena. It is our text 003. Do not hard code the labels and it is mentioned in the best practices also. Four. Now fourth column is M A. K T X text hyphen zero zero four. Now I will go to fifth column. So I will go for fifth. And what is our fifth? K W M E N G. And this is our fifth text symbol. Yes. Now I will go to next. So I will put six. And what is the field name now? V R K M E. We are manually writing the logic for each and every column of the field category. 
Now I will check the syntax and activate. Now we will create the text syntax. 002. 002 is item number. I'll just increase the length 11 and it will be item number. Here itself, I will do 003. 003 is for postnar material number. Now I will go for 004. 004 is for material description. Now I will go for 005. 005 is for quantity and 006 is for unit of measurement. Suppose I will give UOM, short abbreviation. Now I will simply, simply activate. Now it's done. So I will check the syntax and activate. 003, yes, it is material number. 004, material description. 005, quantity. And 006 is unit of measurement. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with the ALV process. And we all know for ALV, we need to go to field catalog. And then we need to bind the data with the field catalog. Our data part is already covered. Our data is coming into this internal table. So we started with the creation of field catalog and we will go to manual method for the field catalog. It means we will fill the field catalog internal table manually. But how you can check the type of that particular internal table in SC37, you can go to that particular function module, which SAP provided. And in from the changing tab, you can check that particular table type. So I declare the work area. Now one by one, I inserted the records. I pass the record to work area. From the work area, we pass the record to the field catalog internal table. And yes, whenever we are giving the column labels, we should not hard code the labels. We should always, always use text symbol. And it is clearly mentioned in the instruction also, we will always, always use the text symbol. In the next video, we will bind these two things and we will check the expected output. So that's it in this video. Thank you.